Every time I hear the word Montana, I feel a rush of excitement. Home, the familiar faces, colors, mountains, and skies. It's been a transformative year, perhaps the best of our lives. Something was missing, something that can't be replaced. It's spending time in Montana. So why here, out of all places? Back in the 1960s, my father decided that friends was not wild enough for him. So he boarded a plane to Missoula, Montana. His love for the outdoors then sparked, and he went on to study forestry. I grew up hearing his stories about Northwest Montana. Browsing through his old pictures, we fell in love so hard with this place. We decided to settle down. To read the next chapter of a story that started 45 years ago. For us, it begins on a small snow-covered patch of land we just bought. It'd be the place we come back to in the winter, to breathe for a while. In some ways, we live like nomads, the modern kind. During the warm months, we travel and do most of our work. When winter comes, we stay put. The road is glamorous and shiny. It's always calling. But home is underrated. It can bring a lot of knowledge. I think the reason we go away is so we can come back. I've always heard that to travel is to find oneself. But I think it's when you're back and you reflect on the experiences that's when you find yourself. So what does it mean to be home? It's being lazy. Then being hard on yourself. Building a routine. Then breaking it. Wondering or coming back to the places you love. You get to do your favorite things over and over. All these small things, like skiing with your friends or cooking a meal. Adventures can be big or small, far-flung or local. Being home is traveling on a small scale. Tackling challenges in your backyard. You have the luxury of time. You can afford to get lost even more. I appreciate the time spent with my close ones. I appreciate the time spent where you belong. 